So, if you've been following the story with any degree of concentration, you'd know how I augmented the lineup of Glasgow's business band, the keyboard wizard, and interdistrict sex bomb, Fiona Johnston. I described how using guile and cunning, my rhythm section affected a rescue mission to get our gear back from our former crap manager. And impress Scotland's Mr Music, we are enthusiastic approach and total commitment. Gaining a new management deal and entering the company of some of the biggest names in pop music. Jokes were he, armed to the teeth with attitude, the flaming torch of youth held high. We prepared to go critical. Getting on the inside, that's the thing. Once you're there, you suddenly feel that you're living at a different level, mixing with a galaxy of colourful individuals, unbound by the mere fetters of normal society. Yeah? I was just wondering, any idea when art's going to be finished? I'm sorry, Mr Stilton's tied up in a meeting with an important client. Oh, right then. Cheers. Rockspeak. An occasional series of insights into the communication conventions of the music business. Let's have another look at this one. I was just wondering, any idea when art's going to be finished? Listen, pal. As far as I'm concerned, you rank several grades below the shit in my shoe. I wouldn't need gobbing you if you were in fire. So, Mr Stilton will see you when and if he's ready. And certainly not before he's finished shagging that masseuse he's got in there with him. And if you don't like it, you can fuck off and die. Oh. Right then. Cheers. It's a mistake, however, to attempt this type of brush off with an established international rock star. Marty, what are you doing here? I want to see Art. He's tied up in a meeting with an important client. Excuse me? I want. I want to see Art. Now, now, I am a major pop star and I want to see my manager. Marty, son, a favourite sex god. How you doing, man? Give me that. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be in Tokyo? You promised. You said it was in the contract. What? Avocados in the hospitality area. I get on the plane, right? Oh, no window seats, by the way. Even though I'm the lead singer. No private toilet for my personal use. Marty, son, we've talked about this before. You've got to let other folk use the toilet on the plane. Then we get into Tokyo and we set off for the gig. Only two motorcycle outriders. Hey, two! You know what I mean? I'm coming apart right now. Hi, hi, I can see you're traumatised. I get into the stadium and I'm looking for my pre-show avocados. And I'm looking and I'm looking and they're not there! Oh, shit. I have warned and warned and warned what would happen. And, well, that's it, Art. I'm out of the band. Look, I can see you're feeling bad. Hey, um, why don't you come and meet my masseuse? She's the very thing when you're feeling all tensed up. No, I don't even want to. I just... I've, I've had it up. Right up to here. Everybody hates me. No, they don't. <laughs> Everybody loves you, Marty. Isn't that right, Janice? Aye. We really love you, Marty. I mean, look. There's two fans sitting over there. Huh? They've been camping out in the corridor all night. I've had them arrested and everything, but they keep coming back asking for signed photos. Just crazy <laughs> for you, son. It's a... Uh, an honour, Mr Claymore. You're my favourite bonk, Marty. The others are all pure dogs. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can't help that. <laughs> Cheers. 
There we are, then. Shanice, go to Japan with Marty and get him some avocados. God's sake. Well, don't want to be late for your gig now, eh? Aye, aye. aye. And, and she'll sort out the avocados. She needs to supply any vegetable that takes your fancy. How's that? Shows up. <laughs> I knew you'd come through for me. Hey, babe. Aye, you with the big tits. Yes, Marty? How do you fancy? Come into Japan with your favourite rock star. Oh, I'm sorry, Marty. Flying makes me frigid. Really? Oh, shame. Oh, well, maybe next time then, babe. Mm. Aye, OK. Come on. Off you go. Bye-bye. If he's not on stage 7 o'clock tomorrow night, you're fired. Aye, aye. Keep your hair on. Is that all the humiliation you'll be requiring today, Mr. Stilton? Oh, I didn't realise there's still folk here. I, uh, thanks, Mrs. McScourge. That'll be all. Same time next week, then. Uh, any special equipment? Or would you like another look at the catalogue? Well, I'll let you know. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful woman. I've got this, um dislocating neck. You see, she gives wonderful relief. Anyway, let's sit down and chew things over. A note on the geography and architecture of the music business office. Keep an eye out for psychologically damaging or disadvantageous furniture and fittings. I'm sorry. That's all right, son. I'll take out your first royalty check. Was it expensive? Everything's expensive in here, pal. Including me, Savvy. Who? No. What can I do you for? Well, eh, uh, how can I put this? You've been handling us for three months. You've achieved zilch. When is it going to start happening? You see, Jed, Fiona, it's all a matter of doors. Doors? Doors. Portals of commercial opportunity. We have to carefully choose the doors which we want to go through. I mean, we could choose an indie door, a singles door, even a teeny bop door. Trans I don't know what it was about art that made you think he was talking total shite. Big doors! You always got the feeling you'd heard this pitch somewhere before. When we see those big doors, we're going to open them. And we are going to walk right through. Right through! Fiona. Fiona, where are you going? I'm going through the leaving the band doors. Whoa. Oh, just hold on there, darling. We want a record deal. We want it now. Perhaps you're right. You've uh, ripened on the tree long enough. Eh? I'll organise a wee showcase gig. Fly up all the record company folk, get them all pished. Somebody's about to sign you. Yeah? Sounds great. Hold on. Who's going to pay for all of this? Oh, hey, kids. Nobody's ever accused me of being less than generous in the short to medium term. Just leave everything to me. The first rule of the music business. Every penny you earn belongs to them. Every penny they spend belongs to you. Forget borrowing a tenner off your dad. Forget that top shop credit card. You're about to go into the afterburn. Hello, Glasgow Barrowland. Jimmy, <laughs> how you doing, man? <laughs> Great. Listen, um, how much to hire the whole venue for the night? Great. Great, I'll take it. And can you still lay on the catering? How much? And would that include champagne for, say, 150 guests? No, that's reasonable. And uh, you'll provide all the security staff. Oh. Oh, that's extra. No. No point in skipping. <laughs> that sounds fine. Let's say the uh, 16th of next month. <sighs> Great. You'll get your lawyer to draw off a contract. Pleasure doing business with you, Jimmy. See ya. 45 seconds at standard rate, 37p. Sorted. Who says bands don't need managers, eh? All you've got to do now is sell 500 tickets. Well, what if we can he? You loan me five grand. Of course, if you're not confident of your following... We're very confident. We are? Good. Because if I've made a bad investment, you're dead, son. I 
don't know why, but every time I close a major business deal, it makes me feel kind of, well, randy. Somehow the relentless cut and thrust of commerce goes straight to my todger. And if I've learned anything in life, it's... You don't ask, you don't get. Hey, Fee. Fancy going back to your place for some exhilarating sex playing that? No thanks, Jez. Hi, Fiona. Hiya, Chris. Sorry, Jez, there's no room. I'll see you later. That is a groovy and rave-worthy tune. Happening. Happening. What did he say? Christ knows. I've given up trying to understand people over the age of 30. He's seen your review. What are you? Show us it, Jess. Jess! Oh, Jess! Oh, 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 Jokes were he. A Caledonian synthesis of neo-rock syllogisms and buzz bomb techno garage beats. A mixing up a whirling, tumbling spiral of indie-tinged Catherine wheels of exploding buzz and deconstruction. But how long before the semiotics of nationhood overwhelm them and drive them upon the rocks of internal and terminal self-reference? Does that mean they like us? Well, who wrote this crap? How should I know? You don't get Tony Parsons for a hundred lousy quid, do you? <laughs> Hold on. What's this hundred quid? Should I spend more? Another fifty for the guy to actually come to the gig. Then they seem worth it. Anyway, got your name in print, eh? You mean you bribed someone to get our name into the music press? No, no, no. You did. I just lend you the money. You had no right. Psycho, if you want to be managed by Scotland's Mr. Music, you're going to have to trust me completely with your financial affairs. Doesn't he mean you have to go around and folk backhanders? Unfortunately, my son, 
It does. Sales of tickets to your showcase gig are not all they could be. How many have we sold? Juliet. What happened to Shanice? She suffered an unfortunate lapse of professionalism. Just can't afford that in her business. Four hundred and ninety-eight out of five hundred, Mr. Stilton. At four hundred and ninety-eight, that's no bad. Aye, four hundred and ninety-eight unsold. But but that would mean that correct. You've sold a grand total of two tickets. Christ knows what brave soul has ventured their hard-earned cash on this ill-fated business venture. Got them from a mum and man, the Aina. So. We're going to be playing to the cream of the music industry talent spotters. Psycho's mum and his auntie Ina. I'm sure you can understand my concern. I thought you guys said you had a following. We do. They're just not following too closely at the moment. Probably all going to buy tickets at the door, eh? Aye. Huh. Aye, well, I'm afraid we can't take that risk. Which is why we're instituting a major fly posting campaign. You've designed a poster? Not exactly. I'm sure you'll think of something attractive and arresting. Six days to go, guys. If you don't want to spend the next five years cleaning my windows, it's time to sell, sell, sell. It's amazing the new skills you need to acquire in the competitive environment of today's music industry. For example, the cutthroat multimedia world of publicity with its monopolistic business practices. Shit! Where speed of reaction is essential. Then there's your ticket sales. You undertaken paid work in the past two weeks? No. Sign here, please. Tickets for the jocks we're here get two pounds concession for the unemployed. Buy two, get one free. Two, please. Next. You learn about associated distribution and subcontract outlets. And finally, the subtleties of show business law. Aye, it's an uphill struggle to fill that bigger venue. But this is your showcase. It's worth it. Put the work in. Get beyond that core audience. And soon, you'll be arousing interest from all manner of unexpected quarters. Well, well, well. Barrowlands, eh? My band's heading up in the world. I thought you'd be interested, Kenny. Oh, I am interested. These bastards still owe me 1,300 quid. They're clearly in breach of my worldwide management contract, and that's not OK. Maybe we should patronise this rock happening and arrange collection of my debt. With interest. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Well, I'm a wee ahead of you, Kenny. Aye? Aye. Look. There you go. What's this? Tickets for the gig. Hey, by the way, that's 30 quid you owe me, Kenny. 30? What the? I've got to pay to see my own band. Wait a minute. There's six tickets here. Ah, uh, well, I've got a concession for the lads and me, but the windy gear's end half for Rex and Randy, being as how they're in full-time employment. You know, I had so many hopes and dreams for my life. Ambitions. Places I was going to go. What happened? What happened? What happened? I had to take care of a bunch of moron brothers that all want jelly bean shot at a me poke. That's what happened! Jesus! I can't even rely on just to get a decent pizza. This is minging! Mine's okay. I mean, it's just bra, no? 
Rhubarb and chilli. Tangy. What did you order? Marinara. Silly me. I've got your Andy's quattro formaggio with lassie meaty chunks and sweet corn. I thought they were scallops. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> So, you've got your band together, your management, your sex appeal, and some funky tunes. Now, and only now, are you ready for the A and R men? Their mission to seek out and sign. These cultural outlaws live by their own code, with their own unique social conventions, sacrificing themselves on the altar of youth culture. These guys live in a haze of jet lag and exhaustion. I'm totally knackered. Just got back from Nassau. I'm oh, completely shagged out from LA. Monaco, steep. Tokyo. Rome. We're overworked. I'd say if my body can take much more of this sort of punishment. Oh, yeah, two more large Bacardi breezes, baby. Quietly, modestly, these unsung heroes ply their trade with the skill of long experience. So I've said to Noel, I said, Noel, man, you are a complete wanker. Not only that, your wife's a dog. Next thing I know is Liam's come on here with a gun. He shot me. I've got a terrible lump, do you feel it? Travelling the world in packs, gaining unique cultural insights. Nothing phases them in the single-minded pursuit of musical excellence. OK, the noodle in there. <laughs> That's the shit you jocks beat, isn't it? Hey, I'll drop it in the back. They're the listening ears of the industry, worshipping the new and the talented, the shock troops of the music revolution. The movers and groovers, the riders of the storm, the connoisseurs of the complimentary. <laughs> Next week it could be Dublin, or Manchester, or Liverpool. But this week it was Glasgow bands. And these guys just couldn't go home without one. We're going to do it new, Kenny. Patience, boys. Patience. You're crowding Randy, Tom. You know he doesn't like being crowded. Aye. I'm sorry, Kenny. Sorry, Randy. Those bastards will be sorry they ever crossed me. So here it is. Your showcase gig. Expectations are high. You just can't blow it. You're tuned in, focused, calm. Cycle. Cycle. You all right, son? Just a bit nervous. Just think it this way. What is the very worst that can happen? You make a total tit yourself in front of your friends, your family, half the record industry, and about 300 total strangers. Cheers. For God's sake, he'll start greeting in a minute. Oh, will he? Oh, I can't help it if I'm... Just leave us alone, will you? Come on, you bastards! What's <sighs> wrong with him? Willie. I think he's on something. Willie, what have you taken? Christ, V. I feel weird. The guy said to take plenty, otherwise it wouldn't work. Take what? D. D? Aye, it's just like he only it's not as expensive. You stupid bastard. What? D. Dr. Martins, your tit. It's for dogs. I think he just come over due for a good clear out, will he? Oh. A little tip and support bands. Make sure they're total crap. Once this lot have been booed off, we will 
Då blir våra pröva fyra. They love to. You should have been headlined. No argument. No argument. Now listen, have you got a manager? Well, if you have, you give him that. Which you know that feeling you sometimes get? That nothing else can possibly go wrong. What the... Oh, shit. <gasps> that was my custom Les Paul sunburst with aftermarket butt weed and big ups! Sorry, it was, it was an accident. Joe, don't! Adam. Oh. Fuck it. Too late. Him to get any spare pants? Okay, guys, you're on.
somehow, God knows how, the best gig we'd ever played. Afterwards, well, just a wonderful feeling like we'd climb Mount Everest. When you've played out of your boots, you don't care what anyone says or whether they're signing you. You just want every day to end like that. Buzzing. Excuse me, I've not got any spare pants on you by any chance. Sorry, Paul. We were okay the night, Eno. Aye, sexy bastard. Aye? You looked no bad. We didn't have to work together. Couldn't you make an exception for tonight, then? Ready to go. Just come and smeg. See you later, Jazz. I thought we might grab a cappuccino and then toddle over to my place. I have a rather interesting collection of new... Evening, Jace. Rex, Randy. Keep an eye on him. Well. We enjoyed your gig, didn't we, boys? Brilliant. Aye, very good. Aye, smashing. And as you can see, I have repossessed this gear in lieu of the money you so rudely tried to get out of paying me back. Kenny, honest, we're going to give you the money. It's OK, son. We're square now. That's worth more than we owe. Should have thought of that before, son. Say good night, boys. We've we'll seen you, pal. See you later. Aye, here we go. Ready. We'll set the lights. Nice boys. Uncle Jez has got a wee treat for you. <laughs> Jez, there you are. <laughs> Somebody wants to meet. Hey, how you doing, Jez? Slick Sloan, massive mix. Yeah. Top gig, man. Top gig. Yeah, cheers. Slick here thinks he can help us. Aye. The thing is, uh, you tell him, Slick. Well, we just want to sign the songwriting team. I win the uh, Burb of the Big Tits. What? That's you, Fiona and Joe, aye? Aye, but the... The others are out. What? Well, you can't do that. Dead wood, Jez. Dead wood. No, that ain't anyway. Somebody in here like half? No. No, me. No, I don't be either. Well, somebody has. It's the almighty. <laughs> He's pumped. I ain't allowed. Oh, Frickin' hell. It's the bloody dogs. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Open the windy. Oh. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Rex, Randy, 